standard construction model, we would basically, what we call stick build, we would bring up every piece of pipe, every piece of conduit, every piece of insulation, one by one, walk it up a ladder, hang it from the ceiling and move on. In construction, time is of the essence and the job schedules are just being pushed so dramatically. Well, you know, I, I'd worked at another hospital, Children's Medical Center, and, uh, you know, we were working inside, but, you know, you had to get up, you had to climb up on the ladder, being cold, windy, running a hammer drill up into the deck, set an anchor, you know, as opposed to this, where it was a controlled environment, you know, not having to get the hammer drill out, not have to get concrete dust in your face, up on top of a ladder. Uh, soldered on the ground and then put it in the rack, so not as much chance for a leak. Uh, there's not as much chance getting uh, dirt and rocks and insulation in it as it would be if we brought it up here and set it on the ground. It's already in the rack. It's already been taped up before it got here. It was easier to track the circuits and the conduits. Uh, everything was able to be labeled so that when it's up in the air, all we have to do in the field is look up and say, oh yeah, I know what what's wires go in that conduit. This gave us really an opportunity to get way ahead in kind of reduce our manpower on the job. We were able to go ahead, start rough ends probably six months ahead of schedule before we normally would have. But a lot of the guys were pretty excited about it uh, because they know they're being productive and they don't have to work as hard to be as productive. And they're being part of something that's fairly new into the industry, this uh, prefab. This project is different in the, in the respect that we are employing prefabrication of above ceiling mechanical systems, bathroom pods, and patient headwall systems. And to our knowledge, this is the first time this has been used in the United States on a hospital project. We are at the Miami Valley Prefabrication Warehouse. One of the aspects of prefabrication are these racks. It's going to contain all the services that go in the hospital, plumbing, med gas, electrical, duct work, insulate, everything will be insulated, labeled, and valve tagged. Sheetrock will be on it. So what you have is you have the top of the deck right here and then the ceiling will be below these racks when they're installed. On a typical construction project, you'll wait till this floor is built, you'll get the walls on the building, you'll get the roof on, and then you'll start with the work inside, which typically starts in the corridors, and electrician, plumber, everyone's walking up a ladder, putting their specific construction material in one piece at a time, very long and tedious process. It's the way we've been doing it for a long time, and we're trying to change that process. We're able to do a lot of labor-intensive work right here in this warehouse, wrap it all up basically in a package, take it out to the job site, wheel it into place, and shoot it down. In our trade, you know, we should be able to do about 200 foot, 250 foot of pipe of three-quarter inch conduit a day. That's what we would be expected to run. And at the warehouse, there were some days I was getting 650 foot of pipe. So, you know, you take that, and each corridor would have about 4,000 foot of pipe, which would take maybe two weeks for a guy to do. And it was taking me probably three days. You don't have any issues with wind, water, ice, um, any of those factors that come into play. On a job this size, they'll spend an hour and a half to two hours a day of non-productive time looking for stuff. And it's not that they're not doing their job, but they have to go find things. By doing this work in the warehouse, we cut that down to 15, 20 minutes a day that those guys spent looking for stuff. So there's a real time savings there of the tradesmen of just having to find stuff. We don't have the problem of getting material up on the floors like we would a normal job. So for us, that has really been a big help. What I see is it promotes a better quality job, a safer job. There were zero accidents at the warehouse on this prefabrication. And for us, it's 6,000 man hours, and I'm sure it's a considerable amount for the other trades. It promotes actually something that's really strong now, and everyone's being touched by it. It promotes a greener job. It cuts down on construction waste management. By being in that warehouse, those guys capture that cutoff material, those raw pieces, and we're now using that out here on the job. This is a very clean job. You don't see the scrap that's manufactured every day, you know. Uh, it's set up to where it's clean. There's not, material's not stacked up everywhere. Every job we have, we always have scrap conduits where we have people cleaning up. That's really non-existent on this project because it was in a controlled environment. For us, our drops from our cutoffs are, are, are non-existent. We were able to order our 
uh, studs to length and then we literally didn't have to cut them. And so there was no waste involved. Some of it we sent back to our prefab shop and they're using on other jobs where it would have ended up in a dumpster. It improved indoor air quality by having this product installed in a clean environment, shipped to the job, capped off, and kept capped off. So it, it promotes a greener job all around, I think. I see this process, the availability for this for every type of building. Hospitals, schools, uh, warehouses. Electrically, anything that has a panel room and it has hall corridors, you know, you could, you could prefab all that. Schools, I've done schools.